What is going on YouTube family? It is Adam here and I have another workout video for you guys with a commentary. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last one. I hope it was beneficial. I hope that you learned at least one thing that might help you. And I'm gonna try and attempt to do the same thing here for a leg workout. Um, so I, I start all my leg workouts. I start the majority of my workouts with a good warm up. Um, I just like to get the, the blood pumping. I like to get the joints. Um, feeling good and loose, you know. I just want I want my body to be ready before I put it through the stress load of a compound movement or um, some some very heavy drop sets, supersets, that kind of thing. So I start out normally with a walk. I'll do some dynamic stretches before I start my workout. This particular workout today is a leg day. Now I've been doing, or my main focus is legs um, for this season, and so. I try to hit legs two or three times a week. Um, this is the second time this week. I think we hit it on Sunday. And so this is actually being recorded on a Tuesday night. Um, and it's just because I want my legs to grow. Um, it's not something that always came easy for me. It's not something I always focused on growing up. My legs seem to always be good as a kid growing up because all I did was play sports. So I'm focusing on them here. I have, um, what is that, one... 185 on the bar and that's where I stayed once I worked up to 185 I just stayed there I'm really working on form here working on adjusting the hips um, adjusting the depth so that I feel it uh, on my quads I'm sure we could load up a little bit more weight here and get some squats done but I'm really focusing on on my form here trying to build a platform trying to build a foundation um, that's strong before I start start throwing heavier weight on there. Um, but it's a goal of mine, and I understand it's a long road. Anybody, anybody that's in this game, by the way, this game, anybody that's into this hobby, into fitness in general and trying to improve your health, maybe improve your physique, improve your strength, this is a long term, this is a marathon. And so if you're in here and you have an idea that three, four weeks, three or four months in, you're going to have these huge changes and you're going to be exactly where you want to be. It's, it's, it's just not going to happen. So you have to have that mindset. I know with where I want to be at with legs, I have a long road ahead of me, years ahead of me. Um, but I'm cool with that. I'm understanding that. So And, um, and I look forward to it. Here, I, I have my feet a little higher on the, the leg press here, as you can see. I'm really focusing on my hamstrings here. I don't, I don't go all the way up and lock out at the top, and I don't come all the way down to the bottom. I think we did two or three sets with two legs. And then as you see on this one, we went to uh, one leg each. So when I'm doing one leg at a time, obviously I have to drop the weight some, but it allows me to really focus on that singular leg. I got some music playing here, I apologize. I'm super professional, but... Um, so yeah, on the single legs, I like to do one at a time so I can focus on each individual leg. As you notice with most muscle groups, arms, legs, shoulders, it doesn't matter what it is, even your chest, there's one side that's normally a little stronger than the other. So when I do them one at a time, it allows me just to focus on feeling that contraction, feeling that movement um, for that individual side, regardless of what the exercise is. Next, we hit some, uh, what are these? Quad extensions, seated quad extensions. I'm doing one again, and at, at this point, I've already I've already nailed my two heavy compound movements. So um, at that point, I was just trying to pump blood, as much blood as I could into the muscle. I remember I'm showing you a few sets that are, that are actually sped up if you haven't been able to tell yet. Um, just because I don't want to waste your guys' time. I want to keep the video short and sweet with a few tips here and there. But obviously, the, uh, the entire leg workout was a tad bit longer than the six minute video that you're watching. Um, I finished these off with some accessory movements, so we did some calves, and we're actually, you'll see a few clips here in a little bit, we actually did some, um, some trap work as well. On calves, I'm not going all the way to the bottom, I'm just really trying to keep that contraction, I want to keep that tension on the muscle the entire time. I'm just pumping, 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 it never really feels like it ever rests um, at any point during that movement, so here they are trap machine we're actually doing traps on this um, it's like a chest press 
um, and these it's just something new it's just a new movement it felt great to be honest this is the first time I've ever tried them on this particular machine um, and, and I would encourage you on any movement go a, go a little outside of the box you know your your body is an adaptable thing and so it adapts to what you send it if you do the same exercise the same routine you know months and months and months on end you're gonna stagnate you know you're gonna hit a, a plateau but that's the workout short and sweet I hope you enjoyed it um, we'll see you in the next one what's up AP fitness family we just finished up a leg workout here at pro fitness that is not p.m. that is a.m. hours so it's really late um, you know I just got a few clips of the workout video I wasn't gonna film everything because I didn't want to waste y'all's time but I hope you enjoy it hope you got something out of it if you like it give it a thumbs up and I appreciate you watching until the next one